Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department and at least temporarily geographyplanet.org. This is a video tutorial designed to show you how to download some basic census data from the U.S. Census Bureau at the census tract level uh, for 2020. The Census Bureau website changes from year to year and the the nature of the data that is available for download changes from year to year. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see I'm at a Google website and I just need to type in US Census and it should come up pretty quickly. You can click Explore US Census or US Census Bureau. We want to click Explore Data Explore Data Main. Click Go to data.census.gov and you can make a note of this URL up here. Um, maybe you want to uh, save it. Click on Advanced Search and it will bring you to this page. And this looks a little different than before. So what we want to do is get the newest and latest uh, census data from 2020. Now, of course, there's stuff from 2021 because I'm recording this in 2022. But the full data from the, the big census, uh, the decennial census in 2020 is now becoming available. So I'm going to click on 2020. And then I'm going to click on geography and what I want data from is the tract level. Notice that you can get it from um, other levels as well but we're going to go with the tract because this class is largely about communities and in many ways either tract or zip code tabulation area are the, um, the two most useful geographic units of analysis. So the zip code tabulation area is used for um, people. There's another one, the five digit zip code down here, and that is used more for business data, um, just for your information moving forward. But we're gonna, for this exercise, use tracks in California. I'm clicking on California and then I'm going to select Los Angeles County. And if you're in another county or another state, feel free to use something different. Um, Los Angeles County, of course, is um, extremely large, so this is going to be a bigger download than some of you may want to use. So perhaps you could choose Fresno if you want it. But I'm going to use Los Angeles County, California, and I'm going to tell it to click or to select all census tracts within Los Angeles County. And so that appears over here on the left sort of navigation or information window. And now I'm going to click on topics and we're going to pull up race and ethnicity and uh, just click here on the race and ethnicity. Uh, box which will give us all of these other things. I'm going to click search and here are the tables that we would consider for the year 2020. Notice that this one is for the decennial census and so that's the most outstanding or the most complete and probably the most accurate. The data from the American Community Survey is released virtually every year, but it is an estimate based on samples. And sometimes the sample error is great enough that you may not want to use it, especially if the far more robust data set of the decennial census is available to you. So. Um, Click once on table P2, and it's the first of the things available to the public 
because it's for redistricting of the congressional districts and voting districts, precincts and whatnot. And so this is the first data available for that purpose. So we click there and here's the table. Note that the table is too large to display and that's okay um, because it is a, you know, we're working with Los Angeles. Uh, if you're with a different county, then perhaps that won't be a problem. So I want to click on the button that says download table. 2020 CSV that stands for comma separated values which will open in Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel and a host of other applications. It's sort of the generic Excel file. So I want to click on that. Uh, if there's if your browser has a pop-up blocker installed then you will have to look for that indicator up here in your URL window. So this is the file that we're going to download and you could leave it named that if you want or you may want to call it something like LA uh, County Tracks Ethnicity 2020. It's up to you. And press enter. Notice in Google Chrome the download window is in the lower left hand side and in some others it's in the upper right hand side. I'm going to show, I uh, right clicked on that and show in folder and so what I get here is my download folder on my hard drive where this downloaded and there it is. Now you can if you want to click on the extract tab and click extract all or you can just double click in here which is what I tend to do and you notice that there are three files in there some of them are things that tell you about what the name of the file is so that's the overall information this one which is smaller only 12 KB's if you open it in Excel you will find that it has the names of the column headers listed here for you but you don't really need to open that up because it's also in the main file which you can see has been uh, packed in the zip folder so double click on that and it opens up so uh, we're nearly at the end of this tutorial but one of the the tricks that I want you to learn and to demonstrate here is so let's I'm going to click on uh, let's see column D and I'm gonna open this up notice where I clicked between the D and the E and expanded that column. Now you can do that, highlight all of these and well double click between any two of the column headers and they will open to the minimum level. But what I want you to see here is that you've got in row one codes for each of the column headers. What we want to do is to keep the column headers in row two and get rid of in row one. So click on the one to the very uh, far left and select delete and then one of the little tricks that you may want to use is to I'm highlighting this this part um, with the two exclamation points and the word total and colon and two more exclamation points and I'm going to copy that you can just do control C too and then I'm going to do something I'm going to highlight all of these columns you can do that by clicking and dragging or control shift and the right arrow 
all at the same time. And then I'm going to press Control H. And I'm going to tell the software with this tool to find that two exclamation points, total, colon, and two more exclamation points. And what do I want to replace that with? I want to replace it with nothing because it's extraneous. So I'm going to just click replace all 72 times that was replaced. I'll click OK and close. And now if I go back to the top, notice that that extraneous stuff is gone because we just want this is the total population this is the population that's Hispanic or Latino this is the population that's not Hispanic or Latino so if I highlight those and I look here in the lower right hand corner on uh, the summation 4926 which is the same number as this um, so this is a column that's important to us. Let's give it a, a color. Um, here's the ID, um, and that's the census tract name and number. We want to keep that. We want to keep the total. And these are the people who don't speak Spanish here. They're not Hispanic or Latino. And these are the people of one race not Hispanic or Latino. But this is the one that we we probably want uh, to keep here. And we, you may want to rename it just something like white. And these are white non-Hispanics. Um, and you can be white and Hispanic. And these are not Hispanic blacks. So we can just call that black if you want. These are uh, black folks that don't speak Spanish who are not Latino as well. And the same here, this is American Indian. And these are Asians that are uh, not Hispanic and native Hawaiian Pacific Islanders, not Hispanic as well and then um, other people who are not Hispanic and don't follow fall under any of those things. So the other one is this one here, two or more races but not Hispanic and you may want to call them biracial or something like that and I think that if we highlight all of these we should get 3545, which is equal to the value in column E. So um, for your homework, file, save as, find a place where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine back to the downloads or maybe to the desktop here. I'm going to change it from a CSV file to an Excel workbook. And I'm going to call this LA Tracks 2020 Ethnicity. This is the file that you will upload for credit if you're in my class.